Tibetan Mastiffs are large, magnificent dogs with bushy manes. They're extremely aggressive and protective of their homes. You could even say they closely resemble lions. One zoo in China actually tried to pass a Tibetan Mastiff off as a lion by putting it into an empty lion's cage. These dogs are dangerous to have in homes and are very difficult to take care of. They're expensive and time-consuming pets to keep around. But the high-maintenance dogs have become a sort of status symbol and thus very valuable. As purebred Tibetan Mastiffs have become rarer, Keeping a high-quality purebred Mastiff is just like having a yacht or a luxury car. People who want to be seen want to be seen with their purebred Mastiffs. They're very popular pets for a number of reasons. The Tibetan Mastiffs are known for having an acute sense of danger and are considered smart pets. They're also very large and have a domineering presence. They typically retain their hardiness, which helps them survive in the high altitude of the Himalayas. The Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient breed of domesticated dogs. It originated with nomadic cultures of Tibet. In feudal Tibetan society, only nobles like temple gurus were permitted to raise the dogs. The Tibetan masses are thought to be holy animals, which could bless their owner's health and security. For a long time, Tibetan masses were also used to guard livestock. Even now, some Tibetans raise them to guard their homes. The huge increase in prices have made the dogs even more appealing for both speculators and just super rich collectors. Having these dogs is like saying that you live like ancient royalty. Many in China and around the world have romantic ideas of Tibetan life, and these dogs help illustrate that dream. In Tibetan lore, it's believed that the dogs carry the souls of Tibetan monks and nuns. These are the souls that don't get to be reincarnated into humans, or the ones that can't reach Samhala, or the heavenly realm. When the Tibetan Mastiff market grew in China, many people started going to Tibet to find good Tibetan Mastiffs. The Tibetan Mastiffs there usually have long and dense hair and thick bones. These are also the most highly valued features when comparing these dogs. Insiders expose, that if a Tibetan massive puppy has reached these requirements, it could sell for at least a million yuan, or about 160,000 US dollars. They'll sell them at auctions held at Tibetan massive fairs. The soaring price of the dogs has attracted a growing number of people looking to invest in them. When the business emerged in the 1980s, the price of a Tibetan massive was at most 83 US dollars. But since 2000, its price hiked to 820 US dollars for each one. After six years later, a Tibetan massive could be sold for more than 160,000 US dollars. Insiders expose that a Tibetan massive puppy might only call for 10,000 yuan. But when that puppy grows up, it can be worth a fortune. The price could increase to 1 million US dollars. With a return on investment like that, people should be begging for these dogs. In fact, companies should be creating Tibetan massive farms to pile up revenues. But it's not so easy. It's very difficult to breed a high quality Tibetan mastiff. They take a lot of care and a lot of money. The challenges in breeding them have boosted the mating market for dogs as a result. The number of Tibetan masses are very limited now, but many keepers want their masses mating with the top dogs. They push up the mating costs of the Tibetan masses as well. Don't go away, because up next we'll continue to look at Tibetan massive dogs. Stay tuned.